here he comes. Oh, look, we got a direct overhead. Check it out, folks. Is that overhead or what? See that? I don't think that you could get more directly overhead than that. Incidentally about that, uh, we don't get that many helicopters flying over. In fact, uh, the, the one that I just got like about a half an hour ago was the only other helicopter to fly by in the entire time I've been here for about an hour. So for that to be directly overhead like that, yeah. Richard Bruce here, so I'm going to review this uh, heater I got here, this Mr. Heater, Big Buddy, and I got this for 131 bucks with free shipping from United Outdoors on eBay, and uh, I can tell you that I've had it since August, so I've had it for at least three months during the winter, and um, it uh, works great. Uh, it has uh, changed my life because the heater that this thing came with, the du dual therm, as you can see here, under my fridge in my RV, is um, it's a frozen lump of uh, rust. So you know, I, d I didn't get around to fixing it and uh, kind of using the stove and thinking I could get by on that. But anyway, I got it hooked up hooked up to this five gallon tank, and this is the big buddy. Um, uh, Quick attachment. It's got a quick release in here. Uh, I'll show you that real quick. Let's see if you can see it. Okay. Let's see if I can see this. Yeah, you see the uh, brass attachment there, and um, it, that that'll cost you 40 bucks. So, uh, and then the uh, propane tank uh, that cost me, as you can see, 30 bucks. So, um, really, it's not too expensive, and it this thing does come with a fan that um, you can uh, put the batteries in and go like this and turn it on but I've never had to use it when I put this thing on uh, on full power which it's on now and that's the only setting that both of those will come on otherwise it switches to just one as you can see watch I'll set it to the next highest setting and it'll only use one and then when you put it to the low setting it uh, it will um, go to the, that's the lowest setting it'll have that's actually one of the uh, one of the problems you have with this is that um, it'd be nice if you could turn it on really low but it'll start to squeal if you if you put it on a setting see like that so um, for an ultra low setting just to keep the the uh, joint from getting like super freezing at night I turn on the stove uh, a small amount but um, otherwise uh, in reality though overall this thing is awesome uh, it um, it does have you can put the small uh, uh, one pound you know you've seen them little propane uh, tanks um, one on each side and uh, those will last you about five hours a piece probably on the low setting but um, in any case uh, with the five gallon it lasts me about um, lasts me about a month I'd say lasts me about about a month maybe uh, actually really more like three weeks if it's a heavy usage but um, I mean it it has changed my life I mean it, it is a lot nicer to come back to my RV with uh, that heater uh, installed you know sitting there and uh, it, it works great I mean uh, you know for the money and uh, like I said I don't know for the long term like how long it'll last because it'll probably had to replace parts pretty soon, especially because I use it every day, at least twice a day. Um, it um, it's not gonna, you know, it's probably gonna break eventually. But really, uh, it works. You know, this thing, like within when I have that thing on max setting, it heats up the joint in like in like five minutes, really. 
um, maybe if it's extra cold a little bit longer than that but I mean it's uh, even without the fan and I've never used the fan um, but um, it um, really doesn't have any problems it's, sometimes it's a little fussy to start you have to kind of when you're starting it you hold it down for uh, seven seconds and then hit, hit the pilot because if you try to, um, to uh, crank the pilot before that it'll miss and so you got to start over and uh, so it's uh, it's a few seconds to uh, to uh, you know light it, especially if it's really cold and you haven't used it for a while. But um, you know that's that's not really too big of a problem. And uh, you know overall it works pretty good. Uh, this is a great invention. I also just now purchased um, the uh, portable buddy, which is basically this whole unit that you see here, except for that um, it's it's uh, only has one of those burners. And um, it um, it uh, also doesn't have the quick release. You can hook it up with the uh, with a five gallon or, or more, um, but uh, it it you have to buy a separate little uh, uh, unit for it that screws in. So it doesn't have the quick release like the big big buddy does, and the cost is pretty much the same. It's like about seventy bucks as compared to a one hundred and thirty one dollars that I paid for this unit. But the reason I got the smaller one was um, several reasons. I want to try it as an alternate to put up here because I have to jump down from my bed um, in the middle of the night to turn it on if I want um, extra heat and not only that, but it might be a little bit too much. So uh, I thought what I would do is try and get an extra one. And if that, that doesn't work out too well, I can just um, throw it in the car or have it as a backup. But for 70 bucks, it's nothing and to uh, make your life so much more comfortable. Like see right now, it's pretty cold outside and uh, for California uh, this is a uh, pretty pretty cool outside but um, it's nice and toasty in here now and I've only had that thing on for like five six minutes and it's just like fully nice and toasty in here and uh, really makes it makes a big difference so uh, if you're looking for something to uh, keep your your van or your uh, your RV warm and you don't want to use the main heater which may drain the battery like I find uh, at least with these little Toyota RVs the uh, the heater that it comes with drains your uh, your RV battery too quick uh, then uh, this is a great solution I uh, can't recommend it more like I said I got mine from United Outdoors on eBay but there's all kinds of sellers that are selling them and also your local stores will sell them but they're going to be noticeably more um, you know you're going to pay it's still 130 bucks, but then you know you pay your your tax or whatever. But uh, and then sometimes, but if you on eBay, like I said, you can get it for pretty cheap. So I recommend that. So that's just a, one recommendation. Uh, highly recommend it, uh, Mr. Heater, Big Buddy. This one works great, and uh, some other people like actually like the uh, portable Buddy. Like I said, it looks pretty much like this one. It's just got one burner. And um, but um, you know I like this one. I definitely am glad I bought this one for pretty much the same money. Uh, and uh, because uh, when you put it on max setting, boy, it really blasts that uh, that cold out of here. Because this, this little RV gets to be an ice box. So um, anyway, that's my review. And um, happy shopping. All right. So uh, since I happened to get this portable buddy in the mail just now as I was uh, making the movie for this. I thought I'd show it to you and as you can see it does work for this function I was just in bed there trying it out and um, it works I don't know uh, exactly how long it'll take it would take because I uh, as far as warming the place up but it judging by it's the same pretty much the same principle so it'd be about maybe 10 minutes 15 minutes if I wanted to warm the place up before I got out of bed so there it is, the uh, portable buddies, and as you can see, as just as a size comparison, uh, it is, uh, here, actually that's the best thing I should do here, ship it down, and show you the difference in size, sorry it's going to be dark for a second until I can get a light down here, alright, so there's the, uh, there's your portable buddy, and then there's your big buddy, so you can see the difference in size. So you can see it's quite a bit smaller and uh, here's the top view there. You see how much bigger this one is. This one has the fold down handle as well and so as you can see it's uh, got your your one pound cylinder. Let me just show you that one pound cylinder real quick. 
just so you can see it's just those you know those little green ones you know what I'm talking about all right so um, just got that baby the mail and uh, probably have a little bit more detail on it later but basically I'm pretty sure it's all the same thing and uh, that's pretty cool